and welcome to the Living Well Podcast. We're all about nurturing our inner and external well-being. And I'm here with my beautiful co-host, Grace Braga, and she's going to introduce our guest for this evening. Yes, I love this guest. I met her uh, through a friend who bought her amazing product. Uh, she is the founder and CEO of the Old Soap Company, uh, which is a natural personal care and wellness brand. And she's amazing. I love her. Please welcome Ernestine Brown. Hey, you're you're muted, Ernestine. Uh <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank Hi. you so much for having me on tonight. My name is Ernestine Brown, founder and CEO of the Old Town Soap Company. We are a veteran-owned and operated personal care and wellness brand, and we are located in San Diego, California. Excellent. And for those of you that have been to Liberty Station, we are right across from Corvette Diner inside of Liberty Public Market. That's where we have our retail shop. And there we sell all natural soaps, body butters, essential oil blends, incense, sage, a little bit of everything. But Ooh. our primary um, objective is to educate and demonstrate the wonders of all natural, everything natural. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And I have tried your products and they are just delicious. They smell so good. Thank you so much. I love them. I've, I've had my eyes on a few of your products. I won't dive into that, but I'm always curious as to like, well, store owners, what's their story behind them getting started? Um, and so I'm really interested in what got you started. Oh, thank you, Elle. So yeah, I started my company way back in 2012, actually, when I was still active duty in the military. I was in the Navy. And so whenever I would come into port after a long deployment or just in and out of port, you know, it can be a little stressful. So I started making soap just as a form of like mental therapy. I think we all need some sort of outlet. So that was it for me. And once I discovered like all the beauty and the benefits of the natural ingredients, I just... I wanted to share that with the world. And so I started selling my products at um, festivals and farmers markets, and it just grew from there. So now we have a full blown retail shop in Liberty Public Market. That's amazing. <laughs> go and visit whenever I'm in San Diego. Definitely. I, yes. I can't wait. Can't wait. Um, so tell us a little bit of, about, first of all, what kind of products you have. I know you have soaps and like shampoos and conditioners and it's all natural. And then what are the ingredients? Yeah. So it's primarily soaps. That's like our main product. But um, since we all need like some sort of, you know, follow up products, I started making like moisturizers. We do serums. We even have a beard oil. Um, we do some exfoliants, um, just all sorts of natural uh, moisturizers and, you know, essential oils to go with it. So say if you're taking a bath and you're washing with your soap, you can have your diffuser going using your all natural essential oils. And so most of our soaps, we love to do a blend of like cocoa butter, coconut oil, olive oil. We're doing a lot of avocado now because we're in California, right? So we've got to have our California soap. So we have a lot of avocado um, we use grapeseed oil and castor, which is really great for hair as well. Oh, yes. Yes. So now we also sell a shampoo bar. So those are becoming more popular now. Ooh. So it's just a little bit of everything. And and are, you, okay. are you planning to expand into more products maybe? Eventually. But right now we have to try to expand our manufacturing. We're kind of working out of our store, which is a smaller space for manufacturing. But once we're able to expand, we're going full blown. <laughs> yeah, I love well, it. I'm actually really curious because, um, you know, we're speaking about the health benefits and the wellness aspect of it. What's yeah. the difference between, you know, the natural and mm -hmm. commercial grade soups. Oh, that's a big difference. Yeah. So the commercial grades have a lot of additives, a lot of chemicals, preservatives. We don't do any of that with the natural grade products. So it's all just natural. Most of our products are oil-based. So with that, you don't need a, a preservative because it has a long shelf life. So 
you know, with our body butter, of course, we tell people after one year, if it starts turning yellow, of course, throw it out, <laughs> you know, if you start seeing your soaps turn brown, throw it out. But that takes a long time. Okay. So yeah, yeah. absolutely. And also they, they have absolutely no carcinogenic elements. You know, after I'm a cancer survivor, so I'm always very careful to choose products that don't have any additives because they are, a lot of them are carcinogenic. So by using your products, it's like, super healthy i feel like yeah. and, and actually to be honest i've had way less allergies since i started using your products wow great to hear i love to hear that thank you so much for your feedback and we're all about making products that work for you and so we do a lot of customization for our customers because everyone has different skin types and whatnot so we try to make everything specific to our customers needs so that's kind of one thing that differentiates us from the bigger brands. We can actually customize. It's more personal. We get to know you. We get to know your background, your history, you know, different concerns. And we like to just cater to our customers in that way. That is mm. amazing. I, <laughs> Lots I of fun. That. So people can like call you and, yeah. and then like I have dry skin and, you know, I'm a cancer survivor or, you know, I... I have eczema, whatever, you know, issues you have your skin. And I know that you started uh, some kind of product that I have a couple samples um, that are really good for people with skin issues. Can you tell us a little bit more yeah. about that product? Exactly. So I'm working on a soap and a cream that I want to get dermatologists tested and approved. Um, this one is an eczema bar, but it's also great for people that suffer from rosacea or psoriasis. It's just more concentrated ingredients. And of course, we stick to the all natural essential oils uh, like chamomile is a great one, lavender as well. Uh, but the chamomile is one of the top essential oils that you can use for mm. those type of skin conditions. And so also mango butter is a great base. Ooh. And so with that soap, um, we're not using the cocoa butter. Not that there's anything wrong with the cocoa, but the mango is known to really address those issues with eczema and other more serious skin conditions. Absolutely. And they say that a lot of diseases, including cancer, are inflammatory diseases. Mm -hmm. And for example, like mango, I know it's anti-inflammatory. So I feel like a lot of the products, of the ingredients that you use in your products are anti-inflammatory. So they they probably, I'm not saying they can prevent disease, but they can actually help with your health, your overall health. Am I correct? That's correct. Yeah, they really help to ease the symptoms. So say if you're seeing a dermatologist and they have you on steroids. In fact, a lot of the der dermatologists today are telling their customers to try to supplement their um, you know, medications, whatever they have prescribed to them with something more natural. So even doctors know that, you know, natural is the way to go. And I think in the near future, we'll see more doctors adopting that in their practices. I definitely hope so. I went to my uh, oncologist, my oncology surgeon, and she actually documents what I taught her, including your soaps, you know, like how I don't have allergies. And she's very interested in, um, you know, seeing what natural products do to her patients. Yeah. Uh, so there's some, I feel like, and also my primary care physician is the same way. And I feel like a lot of doctors now, the younger generation, especially, uh, mm -hmm. they are wanting to look for more natural ways uh, or to heal or supplement, you know, the medications that they give you. So yeah, that's, that's definitely a trend for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just that there's not a lot of research behind a lot of the natural ingredients. So that's why doctors are reluctant to just start, you know, prescribing it and that sort of thing. But a lot of them do believe in the natural ingredients. It's just a matter of time before they put the funding behind doing the research for it. <laughs> yeah, wholeheartedly. And it's really important to do because, I mean, we tend to forget our skin is like the biggest organism, you know, that there right? is. Yeah. So, the attention to it. Um, you had said you started with the because of like the mental health. So here goes my curiosity. Mm -hmm. Is there like a package that you have that's like focused on relaxing and unwinding since the push behind it was for the mental? You know? Yes, that's a great question. So I also teach soap making as a form of therapy. 
So mm -hmm. in addition to our, you know, selling our products, we offer classes and private lessons as well. Um, right now, I'm also trying to expand to offer more of that, like bigger group classes, but we currently are doing the private lessons. Mm -hmm. And so with that, you get a little more hands-on experience and, you know, it's just a very therapeutic craft. And at the same time, you know, I'm educating you on what's going into your batch of soap that you're making for your skin. So a lot of my customers love that aspect of our business as well. I like that. I Thank love you. it. I love that you're, you know, I feel like a lot of us are kind of waking up to the fact that we have to go the natural route in a lot of um, things. You know, after I got cancer, I felt like, I needed to change everything around me, not just the yeah. body care, but the cleaning supplies, oh, yeah. uh, the fabrics that I use, the food that I eat, because mm -hmm. the more you research, the more you realize there's a lot of stuff that, you know, goes into the food and the, the cleaning products that are not really great for you. That's right. And with the natural ingredients, say like for um, essential oils, you can make your own surface cleanser with essential oils. So that with a little bit of water and vinegar, you can have your own natural cleanser, you know, mm. for your surfaces, you know, your bathrooms and that sort of thing. Absolutely. You can really, you know, almost be 100 percent natural with everything. A hundred. You can definitely do that, but we're not taught that. Yeah, it's a practice. It takes a while. You know, it's kind of like for me when I'm trying to eat better, you know, making that transition. <laughs> yes. That's one of my areas where I'm still working on, but um, Ooh, there's yeah. a way to go, you know. Tell me about it. I know. I, I went vegan because I want to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> and when I'm bad, I eat vegan hot dogs and sausages. Mm. <laughs> because yeah. it's it makes me feel like, oh, I'm bad, you know, because it's being so good. It's kind of like right. <laughs> a vegan hot dog. <laughs> yeah, vegan hot dog. And I'm like, this this doesn't do anything to my head. I put mustard on them because they oh. don't. <laughs> <laughs> the astronaut. I tried a vegan hot dog. I tried a vegan burger before, and that was pretty good. But the hot mm. dogs, I'll have to try. They're soon. good. And I tell you what, brand. It's smart dogs or something. They're really good. They Not have, temp yeah, they have like tempeh. They have sausages, like, to <laughs> oh my God, they're so good. Nice. <laughs> but on everything. <laughs> Where can I find those? Are they just in regular grocery stores or? They're totally in regular grocery stores, but you have to go to like the vegan section, which is like two feet by four. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but they do have uh vegan most grocery stores will have it nice so, especially at whole foods if you go to whole foods okay. they have a lot of vegan options and there's vegan cheese oh yeah i've seen the cheese i haven't tried it but i've seen it i'll have to pick some up <laughs> but i think everybody's really transitioning i think you're starting to see this huge shift to that you know yes definitely do you Agreed. see yourself transitioning over to like things like um like the cleaning products or stuff like that, or you like the focus on the soaps? Eventually, and when we get a little more space. Right now, we're just so limited on space, but once we can expand, we'll have everything, you know. Because and you know, we get a lot of suggestions from our customers, so we're going to be basing a lot of it off of what our customers want. Oh. You know, Excellent. and that's that's been a question before from some of our customers. So we will offer cleaning supplies and laundry detergent as well. Oh, <laughs> that's another thing. Yeah. yeah, you have to go super pure on that because it stays again the skin. Yes, yeah, your skin. I once let me tell you, this is how I'm not gonna say brands or anything, but the regular detergents that we usually use that are the common brands. I used one of those and I had to go to the emergency room because I had a humongous allergic reaction. Like it was so bad. I had to go to the ER and wow. it was the laundry detergent. I figured it out because the rash stopped where the clothes stopped. Wow. Yes. Yeah. What? It's serious. <laughs> that was, I mean, the ER. And I had taken so many Benadryls, they were surprised I was still alive because I was freaking out. Wow. Yeah. Popping those Benadryls. Yep. Wow. Holy moly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 
Um, so uh, how long have you been making these products? How long has oh, goodness? Your... Well over a decade now. Nice. Um, prior to 2012, but that's when I went into business. So mm. yeah, at least a decade. <laughs> Excellent. So I've done a lot of research on my own. I do a lot of, I look at a lot of the studies. There are some studies on a lot of the products that we use. Okay. It's just not everything, you know? So um, I try to use those products that have studies behind them. So that way we are more credible with customers. Definitely. Mm -hmm. and, and I, it looks like with your business, I feel like it's like the same way I'm transitioning to like healthier living. Like it's almost like one step at a time because exactly right. It can be so overwhelming because there's so much. There's so you, much. Yeah. And a lot of information too. There's a lot of information. So it's good yeah. to take it step by step. It makes the journey fun. That's yeah. what it's about, right? Yeah. Uh, it's exactly. one along the way. Exactly. Yeah. What keeps you going? Like you have, I know you can start for one purpose, but there, I feel that there has to be this this uh, fire that keeps a project or a passion going. Mm -hmm. And what's that for you? Oh, goodness. For me, you know, my faith, faith in God, faith in my family, faith in my supporters, you know, just um, having that. a vision and wanting mm -hmm. to really see it come to life. And I've mm -hmm. learned that you really just have to step out and take it step by step. And like you said, Al, just enjoy the journey. Yeah. So that's what it's about for me, you know. Absolutely. That's kind of yeah. like the law of non-attachment, right? Don't worry about the outcome. Just have fun. Just go for it. Yeah. Enjoy I the process, that. you know. And then with business, you can always tweak along the way. It's not like you have to know everything overnight. That's mm -hmm. kind of my philosophy. I know some people think, you know, the opposite. And I understand that. But I well, like to know everything, just not all at once. Right. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. So for me, it's just, you know, wanting to see that vision come to fruition. And then I have two young adult children mm -hmm. uh, who are also budding entrepreneurs. So showing them a way to, you know, and just kind of making a way for them as well. I love, I love it. That. And when you have a vision. Do you feel you also have a mission? Oh, yes, definitely. We want to definitely meet the growing demand for all these natural products, you know, yes. but just in life period, just fulfilling my purpose, you know, that's, that's the mission. Just yes. <laughs> and you, have a, you know, a great purpose. And I feel a lot of us are geared towards that. Don't you feel that out too? Like we're all yeah. geared towards like being a little bit more awake to what's going on and to realize that we have to go back to, our, our source, right? To, yeah. to yeah. The earth is giving you everything that you need. Right. Back to exactly. nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think we all just need that outlet too that we can, you know, escape to at times. I, even if it's not something in the personal care and wellness industry, you know, whatever you love to do, I think it's important to pursue that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hardly. Yeah. I have, um, okay. So I was talking <laughs> your website. Oh, I have product. That's good that to I, know. Thank you. That I have my eye on. It's the Shaga Soap King of Medicinal Mushrooms. Yes. Ooh, that sounded Actually, really interesting. Uh, I love that you had like the different, I was going to say flavors, because it's like, <laughs> it sounds so delicious. They smell. The lab, does it? Oh my God. Like her products, it's just ridiculous. It smells like a spa in my apartment. Oh my God. And they, they like they penetrate the whole space. I have them in my bathroom, like lined up. Like a, a, she gave me a bunch of samples, and Ooh. I gave away some, and I kept some. And the ones that I kept, and it's not that many. It might be like five. She sent me like twelve or something, and I might have five now. Oh wow. my god! <laughs> well, I'll I have to get some samples to you, L. Oh Where really? Are you yes. What state are you in? I'm in Alexandria, Virginia. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. 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 Um, in Alexandria, Virginia. Yeah. And that one just sounded really enticing. But what I also love is, you know, your expansive list of scents, the lavender, the mango, but also that you are, you offer unscented as well. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. We'd unscented. like to do that because a lot of our customers have very sensitive skin or some people just don't want the aroma. Right. So we yeah. like to start a lot of our products off as unscented. For instance, our body butter, um, we offer to customize it on the spot for our customers. If they want any essential oil added to it, then we do it right there on the spot in the store for them. 
Ooh. Or, you know, if we know in advance, if we're going to be shipping a product, if a customer wants it customized, we'll do it that way and ship it out. But yeah, we like to start everything off unscented as much as possible. Okay. That's amazing. And, you know, I'll, um, I asked Ernestine, like, you know, I spend a lot of money on cleansers for my face. And I was like, can I just grab a little sponge and like, you know, with your soap, like clean my face? She was like, absolutely. Yeah. It worked beautifully. Oh, wow. Better than, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we also, like I said, we also have um, serums. You know, we have beard oils. We have a little bit of everything. I saw a sea moss gel on there as well. Oh, yes. We're now selling sea moss. So we are getting more into the wellness side of things, too. Um, not just the skincare, you know, but like wellness products that you can actually eat, you know. Yeah. So, again, once we expand, we'll be able to do a lot more of that. I love that. That's amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. And just so you know, we also sell African black soap from Ghana. That's a specialty bar. That's the only bar we don't handcraft ourselves. But yeah. it's very great for um, eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it has no added fragrance, no chemicals or preservatives. Uh, this is good stuff. <laughs> it's amazing. So much info. And, Thank you know, you. castor oil, I've... Um, I've been reading a lot about castor oil and how it penetrates the skin like really, really deep. And what is castor oil good for? And what products do you put castor oil in? We love castor oil for our hair products because it just adds to that lather too. And some people are just used to the lather because of the commercial grade stuff we've been accustomed to. At least with the natural, you'll still get that you know nice lather, but it's with a natural oil. So castor oil is great for that. And it also helps your skin to retain its moisture, its natural moisture. Ah, okay. So that's why we also put it in our soaps. Mm. Yeah. Castor so, okay. oil. I don't know if you know about like the locks or all that, but. Yeah, I'm hair just... products as well. We love it. Really? Products. It's definitely great for hair. A lot of people, you know, they don't prefer it because it's a little heavy. But like for my hair type, <laughs> it's amazing. Like. You know, my hair is curly and it tends to be dry. And so castor oil, you know, I love it. Wow. It's Any oils, you know, I've been putting, like, how do you say, jojoba, jojoba? I'm jojoba. That jojoba. one's great for face creams and face serums. I use and that as well. And for hair. For hair. I put it after mm -hmm. I wash my hair. It's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's all natural, organic. It doesn't have any additives. I'm telling you, there's so much. Nature has everything for us. Exactly. You are so right, Grace. And I love it. And the discovering, like you were saying, you know, the journey of discovering. Yeah, okay. exactly. It opens up a whole new world. You know, once you step in, it's like hard to get out because it's so exciting. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's almost like you're deprogramming yourself from what you've been taught. Like I was at the, in the laundry room the other day because I have a, in the basement, I have to go up and down the stairs. And my neighbor was like, you know, I'm used to the smell of clean being the regular detergents that we grow up with. Mm -hmm. So, like, incorporating something new to her would be it doesn't smell clean. So, we have been programmed even to what is the clean smell. Is that crazy? Right. Yeah. Like yeah. the fresh linens, you know, and the outdoor breeze, ocean breeze, and that sort of thing. You know, and those are nice. They smell great, but a lot of them are fragrance oils, which are made in labs. And so they're chemical based. Mm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, for the natural side, you can you can make a nice blend, say with lavender mm -hmm. and a little bit of cedar yes. wood and maybe a lemon to top it off. And that will give you a nice, you know, uh, aroma for your, your linens and your clothes. Absolutely. And they don't have to smell. As long as they're clean, who cares? Exactly. Yeah. Same with perfumes. Are you planning to, do you do some kind of like perfume type of thing? Yes. So right now we have the roll-on um, essential oils that's blended with a little bit of coconut oil. So it's safe to just roll directly onto your skin. The thing about essential oils, they are pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to just put it directly on your skin. You always want to dilute it. And so we offer the roll-ons already diluted. And then we offer the 100% pure essential oils. And we offer a small uh, spray nozzle to go with it if you wanted to use it on your clothes. Oh. Yeah. Really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's amazing. And like 
I for air spray or whatever on my clothes, you know, like my blankets. Or exactly, for your lens, yeah. Yeah, you can just, uh, what I do is I put water and like maybe 10 drops of lavender oil. Yep. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, really. Make a nice little mister, right? <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it smells delicious. So during, during the day or um, I, I'm curious because I don't want to, us to go without leaving and at least ask me this question like what does your your day look like like a typical day oh for my you? goodness it changes from day to day as an entrepreneur you know okay. you're wearing all the hats so i mean i try to stick to a schedule but also i leave some room for you know being flexible um i recently hired new employees so i've been doing a lot of training um just you know taking care of the store when i'm there I'm making sure everything's displayed properly, mm -hmm. making sure our pricing is right. You know, it's just every day, oh, running errands, going to the stores, picking up ingredients. Like I'm still doing a lot of the work in the business. Yeah, that's, yeah. I used to have an uh, art and framing gallery in New Orleans and I know how that is. It's like, you're like the, you wear all these hats, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, from yeah. multiple yeah. floor at times to, you know, making business decisions, it's crazy. Right, yeah. And we now I'm doing payroll, which is something, you know, kind of new for me. So that's oh. I have to really, you know, pay good attention to. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, the payroll, the finances. I'm just always bouncing around. It's a lot. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. And we have a bunch of people that have been listening to you nonstop. And they have not left because I keep track of every <laughs> I have the stats here. So we have Cirielo. Hi, Cirielo. Good to see you. And Jennifer. Jennifer, Chris. Greg, thank you guys for joining us. And please, if you have any questions, let us know. And we'll ask Ernestine. Uh, her, uh, you can buy her products on her website, which is www.oldtowncompany, the, right, dot com. The Old Town Soap the Company. Old, okay, the Old mm -hmm. Company dot com. And uh, her products are amazing and they're very affordable. Thank so. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. So what, um, it, all this info can be overwhelming for people. So for the ones who are listening at this moment, what would you say, where would you say they can start as far as uh, starting a cleaner, healthier lifestyle? Definitely check out our website. We do have some basic information on the website that tells you about the difference between the natural, organic, you know, if you go to our FAQ page, you can start there. So you can start seeing some of the common questions and getting some of the common answers. And then if you have further questions, you can always reach out to us on our Instagram, Facebook, email, through our website. We're like everywhere. <laughs> so you can always reach out to us there. And you can even call me. <laughs> My number is on our website, so you can call or text us. And we like to get to know you too. We like to, you know, understand who our customers are and what their needs are. So yeah, reach out anytime. Excellent. So www.theoldtowncompany.com. And what are your handles for Instagram? So everything is under the Old Town Soap Company. Okay. So the Old Town Soap Company .com, And you can also find us under that name on Instagram and Facebook. And Twitter as well. Let me see if I can do a banner and put okay. <laughs> the old town so mm -hmm. company.com. Yes. Everything has that. So guys, I'm gonna put a banner, add banner. Okay. Yeah, so and if you can get to the website, then you can get to our social media pages at the okay. Oh, perfect. Oh, there it goes. Yes, that's right. So you guys definitely get her stuff. It's amazing. It's so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going for that chaga soup. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'll get some samples out to you, Al. Oh, thank you so much. Absolutely. That sounds great. Well, thank you so much, Ernestine, for joining us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me on. It's a pleasure. Oh, much My appreciated. Pleasure too. All right, you guys. Thank you for joining us. And, and we'll see you next um, time.